insane woke TikToks that will make you cringe. Well, that's all I need to know. <laughs> Just prepare yourselves for these insane woke TikToks, okay? Without further ado, man, hit the like button, subscribe, turn on post notifications. Let's get to the video. Nobody needs you to advocate for how difficult it is to use gender neutral pronouns. Nobody said that the gender binary was easy. These are not my preferred pronouns. These are my pronouns. You will use them or you will not refer to me at all. If you misgender me by mistake, fix it and move on. I don't need your elaborate apology. I don't care how many times you say sorry. Just don't do it again. Moreover, if someone else misgenders me, it is never your job to tell them that it's okay. Cause it isn't. I get it. The discussion of the gender spectrum confuses you and that's fine. But if you don't know anything about it, don't f***ing speak on it. There. Bro, you people are so, bro, what is you talking about? Literally, 44 seconds in the video and you already talking about nonsense. What do you mean? We're gonna refer to you as these pronouns. Bro, I'm not referring to you as they, them, or their. I'm not referring to you as that. No, I'm gonna refer to you as what I see you as, okay? And I'm gonna I'm let you know this too. I know the difference now between a man that's dressed as the woman and actual woman. You, I hope that makes sense. Like, I know the difference. So if you dress as a woman and you're a man, guess what you're gonna be called? Hey, yo, sir, excuse me, sir. If your voice is deep like this, I'm going to call you a sir. I'm just letting you know. I'm just letting you know. I'm not referring to you as them, they, they, they. I'm not referring to you as that stupid, bro. Y'all are confusing. You know what I'm saying? You say that we're confused. We don't know nothing about it. Don't speak on it. No, you're confused. You are confused. I don't know what, I don't know what, what spirit you have attached to you, but you are confused. Okay. You are seriously confused. There are non-binary people, there are trans men who, who lactate, there are those who go by he, him, different pronouns. It's just inclusive to everybody. It is not hurting cis women to say chest feeding, but it does hurt those who go by other pronouns to continue to say breastfeeding, especially if they have body dysmorphia. What's something you own that you don't ever plan on using? My uterus, because and I mean this with all disrespect, them kids. QPO sexual people may decide to have- Your uterus, you can't use it. If two plus two equals four, and you have to go to the, okay. Anyways, oh, I'm sorry. I, the math wasn't mathing, but hey, it is what it is. I see why I say insane woke t this, this junk is ridiculous. Have a sexual relationship despite not feeling sexual attraction while others don't. Both are completely valid and communication is key. What are your preferred pronouns? Uh, they, them. Oh, I've never heard those before. What are they? Uh, they're what's known as neo pronouns. What are neo pronouns? They're basically your own custom pronouns. When no other pronouns seem to fit, you come up with your own pronouns. Anything can really be a pronoun. Oh, how do I use them? Um, it depends on the person and their pronouns. They, them follows a similar spelling to they and them and even similar grammar rules like zer and zer. So zay, zem, zemself, zers, things like that. Oh, okay. And there are other new pronouns you said? Well, yeah, because they're customizable. Anything can be a pronoun, really. Oh, I didn't realize that you can customize your own pronouns. That's pretty cool. Thank you. Hi, I'm Jax, and I just came up with new neo pronouns that combine he, him, she, her, and they, them, okay? So hear me out. They, them, theirs, okay? They, them, their, whatever you want to consider it, right? Let's take the first one, the, okay? This combines she, he, and they, right? They, the. That's what they said, you know? That's what they said. Next, we got them, right? Okay, so then we got, that's just combining them and him. Okay, I actually, you know what? I actually like this. I actually like this. Because if we go out to eat, I could just be like, oh yeah, they are gonna pay for the bill. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Like I could go out to eat with a whole bunch of other people, like you know what I'm saying, you included, but you like to be called they and the and all that nonsense. I'm like, oh yeah, they paying for the bill. You feel me? Oh, who's they? Oh, yeah, they over there paying for the bill. Yeah, they paying for the bill. Like, I would love that. That mean I, you you see what I'm trying to say? No, this is stupid. It, it's it's literally stupid. I'm not bro, you, these aren't even real words. The are you serious? The like, 
what are we in the King James version of the Bible? Like, I'm I'm confused. What are you talking about? The them theirs the, the, oh, theirs like what? Oh Lord, have mercy, bro. Lord have mercy. I right, seriously, you can make up your own pronouns. Why can't y'all just be what God created y'all to be? If God created you to be a woman, why can't you just be a woman? If God created you to be a man, why can't you just be a man? How hard is it? It's not hard. It's seriously not hard. This whole entire world is just confused. They are seriously confused. Then, you know, I went to a movie with them the other night. Last one, theirs, okay? It's just like theirs, but like also like hers. Theirs. That jacket's theirs. Yes, this just sounds like they, them pronouns, but with the new ultra-scientific method, we have them so they've combined he and she as well. Everybody gets you with either them theirs today, yeah? Tips on how you can be a better intersex ally. When it comes to inclusive language, oftentimes people tend to use phrases like people with penises or people with vaginas rather than saying male and female or men and women. While this can absolutely be inclusive for trans people, unfortunately it's not always the most inclusive language for intersex people. My advice is to use language that focuses on function and not just form. That means focusing on the actual function that you're talking about, such as people who can get pregnant, people who can get other people pregnant, people who are at risk of testicular cancer, and so on and so forth. This is much more inclusive because there are intersex people who are born with a vagina but don't have a uterus or ovaries or an ability to menstruate. This is because some people that what? are born with a penis don't have testes. So it's much what more inclusive. What? what did you just say? It's focusing on the actual function that you're talking about, such as people who can get pregnant, people who can get other people pregnant, people who are at risk of testicular cancer, and so on and so forth. This is much more inclusive because there are intersex people who are born with a vagina but don't have a uterus or ovaries or an ability to menstruate. This is because some people that are born with a penis don't have testes. So it's much more inclusive to say what you actually mean than it is to use language that works around that. Um, I'm trying to phrase this nicely and I can't yell, but I want to. So, um, black people and people of color in the queer community aren't seen by white queers as as queer as they are on almost every occasion where i've been discussing my queerness or my experiences with queerness with white gays they speak to me in a condescending way and they treat me as if i am a straight person imposing on a queer subject because they don't see us as as queer as them queerness is seen as um something that is white and a way to, to compare oppression, and it's used to compare oppression. So, it's impossible for white gays to see us as, as gay as them. The LGBTQ community has been used as a front to hide racism or to excuse racism. Do research on black queerness, please. Here we go. A one. What in the actual crap are y'all talking about? Sit. What is it? Do your research on black queerness. Huh? And then old girl just said people are born with a vagina without without a uterus? What? People are born with a penis without testicles? This, 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 this is stupid. 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 Bro, I, I feel like I'm R. Kelly. I'm fighting for my life, man. I'm fighting for my life. This is... I am literally in shock that people actually are this dumb. They are this dumb. I don't think it's confusion no more. I think people are just dumb. I think people are seriously just dumb. Oh, my gosh. I can't believe she said that. Black queer... Queer... What is a queer? What is a queer? A two, a three, a four. Watermelon sugar pride. Watermelon sugar pride. Watermelon sugar pride. Watermelon sugar pride. Breathe in, breathe out. Breathe in, breathe out. One non binary, gender fluid, trans men and women too. Breathe in. We're white, we're Asian too, 
for every color of the rainbow, for me and for you. What an unsure of pride, what an unsure of pride, what an unsure of pride, what an unsure of pride. We're lesbian, we're gay, we're bi, we're trans, we're queer, we're queer, we're queer, we're queer. One man's a good pride, one man's a good pride, one man's a good pride, one man's a good pride. That's the end of the video. That's the end of the video. Oh my gosh. That's that's the end of the video. That I'm done. I'm done. I'm done. Y'all have a good one. This is This doesn't even make me cringe. This just made me mad. I, I don't, this just made me like I this just pissed me off. I'm not gonna lie. Like I'm literally genuine, I'm genuine mad, bro. This ain't fake. This ain't for the camera. Bro, I didn't even see the video before clicking on the video. I just seen the title and was like, oh, this is an interesting title. So let me go ahead and see if I can react to it. Boom, boom, boom. This just seriously made me mad. Are you people this stupid? And then the last song, Welcome to the Pride. Welcome to the Pride. Shut up. Shut up. The rainbow wasn't even meant for you people. Well, if you want to, it was. Okay, it, it definitely was meant for all of us. But what I'm saying is that y'all turned the rainbow into something that it that is genuine meaning is not what y'all done made it. The rainbow is not for LGBTQ. The rainbow is God's promise to never flood the earth again. That is what the rainbow supposed to stand for. But you people done changed it, switched it around, and made it to whatever y'all y'all man. I, oh my lord, I'm I am like. I am done. This, this is. Y'all let me know what y'all think about this in the comment section below. Hit the like button, subscribe, turn on post notifications. What this? Two videos in one day? I'm on a roll. I'm just saying. I'm on a roll. <laughs> Anyways, man, I love y'all. God bless. Stay blessed. Peace.